Welcome back to the channel guys. Today is July 27th, I do believe. And uh, I'm here in the shop. I'm gonna be going down to feed Kev's here shortly after I do a quick interview here with the mechanic. Uh, yes, he is married to my cousin, so we are related in some sort of way. <laughs> so, I don't, I, mean, I hate to slow you up here, but what, what, what's exactly going on here? Yeah, so this engine was burning a lot of oil. So going through like a gallon a day. So after eliminating anything that could have been going wrong other than it needing a rebuild, such as the turbo, air compressor, different things that could be using it. Um, yeah, narrowed it down to needing a in-frame rebuild. So if you take a look up in there, you can see all the liners are out. Um, it's all set and ready to go. And you have the new liners right here. Well, you can yep. see the old ones there. Yep. And then the new ones. You got the new liners, pistons. Piston rings, everything. And you said the problem was that, I, I kind of said it in a previous video, but the piston ring, they were shot and they were wearing yeah, the so bores. The inside of the cylinder walls were smooth and, and uh, worn out in such a way that it lets oil up past. And yeah. Just burns it up. Burning rich. Yep. So, yeah, that's uh, the uh, official uh, conclusion to this engine by the mechanic himself. So, and here he's putting it back together. He has a new bore, new piston, and uh, that's the last one, isn't it? Yep, last one. Slipping the new pistons in the liners. And then these go down as a complete assembly in each hole in that engine block there. Yeah. I mean, him, we're just saying this is like putting together a big toy set, but just <laughs> really expensive. And I want to make sure you do it right because it's not like Legos where you can be like, oh, I've got to redo that. Yeah, right. All right. Well, it's time to get the calf feeding. My cousin Mitch is going to wonder where I'm at. I know some people are wondering if we uh, milk all our cows in the new parlor, and yes, we do. Even the cows that are treated, uh, it's our last group, so it doesn't matter. The parlor will get washed afterwards. Got to set up for wash. We're already washed, and Mitch just undid the hose. Anyway, around 100 gallons of milk was pasteurized here, as you can tell. Uh, this milk you won't be able to sell because those cows are treated with antibiotics and you can't sell milk with antibiotics so we might as well get use out of it and feed it to our young stock. So we have a bunch of five gallon buckets here I'm going to fill up. Have a around 100 gallon water bin here. Actually used to be the old milk tank for the pre-pasteurized milk. So fill that up with water and I'm going to start filling up buckets here. This half bucket here, I'm gonna do electrolytes in, put electrolytes in it, and mix it with water. We'll give that to cans that aren't doing the best and they uh, are dehydrated. Off to the Kiev's, the girls. Our ladies.
but you must be hungrier than all the other calves. These are the oldest ones, they'll get fed water, and you can see cutie pies right there. Cutie pie! There she is! Sick air with this jump. No hands. Always on his phone. Never working, oh my goodness. Doing five, we skip this one. <laughs> My cousin.
watching this video, 